this is a Weekend Explorer Quick Trip. Wales is known for its wool, and the small hamlet of Trevu is by the castle city of Conway in northern Wales. Picturesque Trevu's woolen mill is owned by Morgan Williams, a fifth generation wool mill owner. Yeah. Now you have a, a loom here. How is this working exactly? Well, this loom is weaving Welsh tapestry bedspreads. They're a hundred inches wide and the bedspreads are actually uh, two cloths which are woven together to, make, to get an effect, a light effect on one side and down here is the darker effect the other side. Yeah, that's gorgeous. The, the dark side is gorgeous. Now, how exactly do you get the thread back and forth in here? Well, weaving consists of 16 shafts raising and lowering the warp threads and when the, they're making a shed and through this shed passes this wooden shuttle at high speed about 95 times a minute and inside the shuttle is a uh, bobbin which is weft or woof and as it shoots across the bobbin unravels and that's the weft or the woof. There's actually four different shuttles in this loom and uh, the loom chooses which one to go across to make the colour effect. This is what it would look like when it's... Um, and this is woven. the light side. Yes, and the dark side is... I mean, look at that. This is just gorgeous. The mill harnesses the Kraftnamp River to exploit its fast-flowing soft water used for washing the wool and turning the water wheels that provide power to run the mill. Well, the machine you can see behind you is the carding machine, uh -huh. and we're doing a coloured blend called Sweet Pea. You can see the different colours, Jeff, the white and the magenta and the turquoise, and the, the wool goes in right down at the far end and it passes through rollers with little teeth on them and carding action takes place and then it becomes like this individual fiber by individual fiber so instead of clumps we've got individual yes. fibers now yeah. what makes wool here in wales better than in other places in the world well it's a, a very soft bouncy wool mm -hmm. if you get hold of it and squeeze it it's got uh, thousands of lovely little springs in and it bounces up and this makes it sort of and uh, yeah, bouncy and warm. Yeah, probably real warm too, yes. huh? Yes. Okay, now then when we get to the end of this machine, it's uh, kind of what? Uh, com condensed well, together? Is that yes, this is the carded wool ready right. to come out and then it passes through uh, behind me the, con the tape uh, condenser okay. where the wool is condensed into slubbings which are soft twistless threads no strength at all and it's preparing it for the next machine which is the spinning mule okay. where it'll be stretched out and mm -hmm. uh, twisted in and made uh, stronger and into like the this. yarn ready for weaving yes that's right and this is what we were using downstairs yes it be woven into uh, uh, this one into skirt lengths Outside the mill sits a sample weaver's garden, which explains how wool dyes were once derived from local plants. We decided to take a short walk to Fairy Falls that sits behind the woolen mill. Trevor Woolen Mill is over 170 years old, but these iron-rich waters were first utilized in a Roman spa. Trevor literally means town on the hill. What a beautiful day, cheese. And it's warm, too. In 2001, foot and mouth disease led to the slaughter of more than six million animals, and it is estimated to have cost the UK around seven billion dollars. Woo, check this out. Foot and mouth is not a danger to humans, but there were some travel restrictions to farms at that time. This was only to prevent foot and mouth from being transferred on the soles of shoes to other farms and new safeguards are in place to prevent similar calamities in the future. <laughs> the Fairy Falls Walk is easy and picturesque. Walks are very popular throughout Britain, cool and especially here. here in Wales. They range in length from short to week-long walks. Walks are usually well marked by these signs, and they pass over hill and dale and through scenic towns as well. Hotels, pubs, and towns 
usually have walks that start near them, and they often have free maps that show the route. Walks are one of the best ways to see Britain. Walks really give you a chance to stop and smell the roses, as well as enjoy the sights including medieval castles, beautiful swans, and possibly even an ancient stone circle. Visit us online at WeekendExplore.com, watch full episodes on PBS, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter.